All right, Shalom. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone Branch on Des Moines, Iowa, and we're going to start off by giving all praises to, to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakhakadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, by Hashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. As well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites, and we also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone rule well, peace and salutations to the hope of the leg, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, once again, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Howard Kakwadash. All right, and this lesson was inspired through a, a video that um, the big bro, who we affectionately call uh, St. Benji, all right, out in Chicago, did this morning entitled uh, that video is or that video folly. All right, he uh, played a clip from uh, Kevin Samuels. All right, and he was pretty much talking about that it, unless you make above five thousand dollars, all right, um, as a man you don't uh, deserve to have a woman that's feminine or you know um, or respectful to you. It's something along those lines, and you know a lot of those people in the red pill community, they all about just getting money. All right, to eventually get more women and this and that and the third and so on and so forth. All right, but the point being, as a man, period, all right, a woman is to respect and honor you. And you don't have to settle and deal with a woman and who's not honoring you or respecting you, whether you're rich or poor. All right, if a brother wants to grab that uh, Esther 1 and 20, just Con. to, you know, start it off. Con, this is Esther 1 and 20. Mm -hmm. It says, and when the king's decree, which he, which he shall make, shall be published throughout all his empire for it is great all the wives shall give to their husband honor mm -hmm. both to great and small both to great and small all right and because you know we've been beaten down in this society and you know poisoned with this you know this uh what, what do they say uh the, not chivalry but um this romance shit you know which goes back to roman you know back to the the roman way and so on and so forth right they pretty much teach you to worship a woman, all right, to bow down to the woman. Nah, bro. All right, the woman was created for us. Yeah. All right. They, they, uh, select, nah, they, they also say what a happy a wife is a happy yeah. life. You know what I'm saying? They put the, uh, the woman on a pedestal mm -hmm. and, and, and want you to bow down to them, man. That, that's way out of order, you know? Yeah, and especially with us being the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, men of the Lord, look, we, we, don't, we don't have to except being dishonored by a woman. All right, we're the prize. All right, the scripture says in the book of Acts that these are the men that show unto us the way of salvation. Those are the most valuable men on this earth. All right, regardless of how much money they got or what car they got and so on and so forth. All right, and if a woman doesn't want to honor that or if she doesn't see that, we aren't here to convince you. All right, we aren't here to convince the woman that, ooh, look, you should honor us and please, like, look, we at the point where if you with the program, you with the program, and if not, you can kick rocks. And that's just is what it is, man. It's the same thing with us and the Lord. See, the Lord don't need us. We need him. Just like with us. We don't need the woman. She can't provide herself salvation. All right. She needs us. All right. That man is a covering, like it says in the book of Isaiah 32. But I we can it. hit some of these precepts, man. This is Isaiah 32 and verse 1. Was you done on that? Right? Okay. okay. This is Isaiah 32 and 1. It says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And I don't want to say we... Uh, be one of those um, princes. I don't want to say means Lord willing. So Lord willing, we be one of those princes that's reigning with the king, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the King of King, Lord of Lords. Okay, so right now it says that the Lord has chosen the poor of this world and rich in faith. Now we not poor to the point where we, all right, uh, on the streets and and um, digging out of trash cans, but we not making six figures. Majority of us, there's some brothers that make six figures. All right. Uh, uh, and you know, I guess that's you making above six figures that make you a high value man in this society. All right. But the Lord isn't dealing with, uh, the rich, the Lord ain't dealing with the rich man. Okay. It says hardly shall a rich man enter into the kingdom, man. So the Lord is dealing with the lowly. All right. John the Baptist. So what if John the Baptist, he didn't have no woman, but if he did let's say he dwelt in the wilderness, but if he did. All right, what well, you call him a low value man, but in the eyes of the Lord, it says in the book of, uh, in the, in, I think it's wisdom of Solomon, says, though a man be ever so perfect in the eyes of men, if my wisdom be not with him, he shall be, he shall be nothing be regarded. regarded. We're not trying to impress no bitch on this side. We ain't trying to impress nobody. I don't give a fuck what nobody think about me, man. All right, the Lord give us our daily bread to take care of what we need to take care of, and we're content with that. We're content. We're, we're content with that. We're looking for the fall of this place, man. We're looking for the dollar to collapse. Why you want to talk about money? All right, we're looking for the dollar to collapse. 
Okay, and then we're gonna see who really has value, and then we're gonna see uh, uh, if you're gonna res respect somebody or not. Okay. All right, when you you're gonna respect everybody you fucking see uh, as a woman. All right, you you better respect everybody you see when the dollar collapse. All right, when the when the food when the trucks stop moving. All right, because these men there's not gonna be it's gonna be lawless out here. It says the course of their actions shall stand in their own power, and that's when a woman becomes defenseless. Now she can't call nine one one. Okay, now she can't call nobody. The internet is down. The phone lines is down. The power grid is destroyed. So, so who, what, what you gonna do then? All right, are you gonna be a bad bitch then? Are you gonna be Miss Independent then? No, you're gonna be seeking a man that that's, that's gonna protect you. That's gonna have you covered from all the plagues that's coming upon this world. And he's gonna be under his rule, man. Mm -hmm. This is just talking about how the woman is under subjection to the man and all things as unto the Lord. Meaning that what? Subjection is under the rule. So whatever rules and guidelines that that man establishes in his household, you're going to abide by that. And if you don't want to abide by that, then King you Rock. can keep it moving. <laughs> and men, and once again, as once again, we don't have to suffer uh, uh, certain things. You know, brothers suffer through what they decide they want to suffer through. And their own relationship, that's up to them and they, and, and they decision making, you know. Just like with the Lord, you have mercy upon whom you have mercy. So if a brother's in a situation, you might have mercy on this woman and so on and so forth and a certain thing and... Whatever the case may be, but at the end of the day, there's guidelines that are established, right? That that man sets forth. And if a woman wants to go beyond those guidelines and she doesn't want to go as that will, then we can cut her off. Like, once again, we're the ones that have the value. And we have to keep that in mind, man. Like, once again, these women have nothing to offer us, all right? If she can't provide me salvation, which none of these women can, then what else do you have to offer? All right? And you can get sex from any woman, you know? And like we was talking about before the, uh, the lesson um, started... At the end of the day, the only thing these women have to offer is anything that can relieve us to help us do what we're doing, which is serving the Lord. You know, whether it's like household duties that relieves me of doing it so then I can focus more on serving y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because that's our mission. That's our goal. All right, our whole duty is to please the Most High and keep his commandments. All right. So if you're not a part of relieving me to do that or if you're adding to my affliction to where it's hindering me in doing that, then that's when a, a, a woman can get cut off easily, man. You know, but yeah, you got to Yeah, you want to be an asset, not a, a liability. And you know what I'm saying? A woman got a, a very important role to play. Just just play your yeah. role. You know what I'm saying? And You know, it's a very important role that, that you have, man. Just play it. You know what I'm saying? It, just like the, the men of the Lord, they got to play their role. You know what I'm saying? The order, you know what I'm saying? I'll get it later after you finish that. Come. The order. It's Isaiah 32 and 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. That king is... Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, and princes shall rule in judgment. Princes. It didn't say nothing about no queens. All right. And it didn't say nothing about no princesses ruling. Princes, men is going to be ruling. All right. A, a queen isn't going to sit on the throne. All right. The king Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, he going to sit on the throne. Princes is going to rule on, under him. King David. Okay. Which that word prince, you know, one of the definitions is just ruler. It's just a ruler. Okay. Men is going to be ruling. Kingdom, the, the, the domicile of, of, of kings. All right, it says the Lord will make us a nation of kings and priests. So ain't gonna be no pussyfooting in our kingdom, man. And we not doing and we can't do that shit on this side, man. Brothers was raised a certain type of way. We gotta get the fuck up out of that, man. Yeah. Okay, and like even in this woman. world, you get deprived, you get deprived of, of some box, man. Fuck that box, man. It's it's used anyway. All right. You, fucking use box the bitch giving you attitude the bitch giving you problems man they just like the uh, uh elder brother rataza one year the brother saint benji said man look you just uh, you just deal with deal with the pain of missing a bitch or not having you know some in-house pussy just deal with that man then, other than selling your 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 fucking dignity. self respect man and your dignity your like integrity your integrity all of that yeah, man that's it man because you know you, you got, that's all we got man yeah you go no no that's it man because you know here, here it is you going to suffer a woman talking shit to you and talking down for you just because you want some ass. Nah, fuck that, man. She disrespectful, not honoring you just because you want to... Like, nah, we got to rule over that, that base nature. And then on yeah. top of that, the Lord will, will reward anyways, man. Yeah. You sitting here, it's just like a child, all right? A child has to be given guidelines, right, and rules and regulations. That child will continue to play, you know, uh, uh, try and step over those lines, and unless you put it in check, they'll continue to go over it. Yeah. You know? You might tell a child, stop, you know? They keep doing it. Stop. All right. Then what? Discipline has to come into place now. In this society, not saying that you're going to uh, uh, beat a woman or whatever the case it may be. I'm not advocating that at all. All right. But there has to be a certain amount of disrespect that you won't tolerate. 
Like a woman has to know, like shit, I will leave you. <laughs> you know, that's, not that's, that I'm gonna just stay yeah. here and suffer through this, or because I love you, or because even we got children, this and that, and the third. A woman will try and trap you in, like the brother was uh, mentioning. Her heart is snares and nets, so she'll do what she can to try and control you. In the book of Genesis, the third chapter, three and sixteen, it says that the woman's desire should be towards her husband, and he shall rule over you. Right now, when you read that in the NLT, it says the woman's desire should be towards her uh, her husband. All right. But she will have the desire to rule over him when you read in the NLT. So these women have a desire to try and control and uh, uh, have a say so. And, you know, this and that and the third and what you can do as a man. Like, look, you you have no say so in what I can do as a man. Just like with this, a standard woman. Well, I ain't dealing with no you don't uh, five thousand dollars. And this and that, I got to be a certain type of height like. Fuck all that. We ain't trying to live by these standards of this society. We're trying to please the Lord. All right. The Lord is seeing us as valuable. It says there's nothing greater than him that feareth Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right. And we have to move in that dignity, man. You know, a woman want to get with the program, she want to get with it. If not, oh fucking well, man. She's missing out. She's going to be out there in martial law on her own. All right. Missing you. Yeah. Why you coming up? All right. Why you being delivered? You know, so it should be nothing for Jake to be able to cut off a, a, a shorty, man. All right, the Lord will bless with plenty. Even like he told King David, he was like, look, hey, if you wanted more women, I could have gave you more more women, you know, when in the, in the matter of him committing adultery. So that's a light thing. That's nothing. And that's going to come anyways because it's written in prophecy, Isaiah 4 and 1. So that's going to happen anyways. But as far as, you know, just bowing down to these women because of like, nah, bro, we coming above that base nature, you know, that's a lot yep. of it, bro. Verse 2. It says, and hey, you can win a you can win a chess game without a queen, all right. But you can't without a king. She can't win with she. She's not gonna win without us. I, I don't want yeah, to nah. we beat those men. She can't win without us. Yeah, but we can win not. without her, man. I could get a fucking pawn across the board and make that pawn a queen. I can get another pawn across the board and have two bitches on the board, doing whatever the fuck I tell them to do, man. All right, but you giving me problems and shit, you, it, or it, if it comes to the point where I have to, it, it's me or you. Look, the game's over if I lose. If if the king's not on the board, the game's over. All right, and if you, if I gotta give up one or the other, it's gotta be you. Okay, unless you working with me, not you know making it an analogy. If if you if you doing what you're supposed to do, you are gonna be on the board. All right, if not, if it becomes detrimental to me winning this game, me winning this fight. Hey, I got rooks on the board too. <laughs> I got bishops. Okay? You can always get that pawn across. Alright? Get that pawn across to the other side. Alright? And, 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 and uh, level it up. You know? But this is Isaiah 32 and 1. It says, And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. Mm, the man is going to be the hiding place. Not the woman. Alright? The wind is what? The destruction. The calamities. Right? So when this shit hits the fan... <laughs> A woman are gonna be trying to cleave to men for that protection in that hedge. It ain't gonna be a bunch of men like, oh, I need to go find a woman that can protect me. And nah, bro. Them, you know? them niggas not gonna make it. This, psh, th yeah. them type of niggas not gonna make it for a few days. It's them type of niggas gonna be gone. It's yeah, not gonna be long. All, nah, bro. But it says then the book of, in the uh, apocrypha, man. If you could look that up for me, um, it says that the virgin shall mourn having oh, no yeah, bridegroom. Yeah, that's the spirit. Always. Yeah. This is the book of uh, oh yeah go ahead now yeah all right this is the book of Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse uh, uh thirty I'm gonna start at verse thirty two and the earth shall be laid waste and the fields of our, thereof shall wax old and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns because no man shall travel there there through yeah so all this shit's about to be through man all right all this shit about to be through the grass about to be high as fuck cause who the fuck cut grass men. Are everything that, you know, these bitches, they, they say they don't need a man. A bitch would cut her grass and say she don't need a nigga for nothing. A bitch take her TV uh, uh, off the wall, all right, or plug the goddamn TV and say she don't need a man. Anything a bitch do, she pump her own gas and say she don't need a man. The whole society runs off of the labor of men, all right? And once these men start getting drafted, once these men start dying, perishing like the scripture is going to go into, you're going to see how, uh, how much you needed a man. You're going to see how much you need a man. And how vulnerable. Yeah. Because a man is what? That, uh, that hedge. hedge. Where there yeah. are no hedges, There's the no... possession is spoiled. Right. Meaning that what? Anybody can run through and take it. And that's just what it is. All right. You're going to have men out here that's running through and, and take it. I mean, it's written in the prophecies. Women shall be ravished in the streets. That's raped. You know? Because what? She has no man to protect her from that. All right. Yeah, she you're not 
See, it's crazy because it's, Esau is the devil. All right. And the Lord used him to fulfill certain curses that would come upon us. Like what? It says that the Lord created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right. And that happened to what? In this society. All right. In this society, that's when I was filled through what? Women's lib, women's liberation. All right. The scriptures say, give her no liberty to gather broad. All right. But yeah. these women have been liberated. And it says that she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she lived. Majority of these women is going to perish, man. Well, even in that scripture, in that sec uh, Sirach that you quoted, give her no liberty to gather broad. It says, uh, lest she abuse herself with over, over much, much liberty. liberty. Yeah. So when a woman, let's just uh, tie it back into a child. What happens when you give a child too much liberty? They destroy themselves. Play games all goddamn playing day. Games all eat day. candy they'll all goddamn day. Yeah. They will destroy themselves, but Juice. they'll be having a blast. You know, they'll it'd, be having fun. And it'll be cool while it lasts, but when your teeth fall out, when your eyes are fucked up, all right, when your health is bad, it's no longer fun. And that's what this society is about to, uh, and that's what these the women of this the society results. is about to feel. Or about to experience the results. Of they're about to. <laughs> they're about. They're about to experience the results of having too much liberty and not being in subjection unto a man. Right, because the a man isn't not just a hedge just because of him being able to physically protect a woman. A man is also a hedge because of what the instructions and the guidance that he gives protects that woman from herself. Just like the instruction and guidance that you give to a child, right? You're guiding them and protecting them from certain, certain things. They don't even know what to destroy themselves. Now, look what women have done. Now, because of not having instruction and guidance, all right, in the proper way, now she got four baby daddies, right? Look at her decision-making. Look at what the woman's decision-making has done for her. Now, she's got 18 bodies, right, and miserable. Now, you got what's that year. bitch, Vivica Fox. She just turned 60 talking about some, all right, now I'm taking applications. Like, bitch, you're through. Wow. All right? Like the brother did a lesson in the, uh, in Mississippi. I just saw the title of it. It's like the West has failed you. All right. Mm. So the liberty Feminism that you lied to you. <laughs> you waited. Now you're 60 years old and now you're trying to settle down. You'd have been thotted out this whole time. And now you want to. But that's what the liberty is giving you. But if you were instructed and guided ultimately by a man of the Lord and the proper principles yeah. of the scriptures, obviously. All right. But if you were guided and instructed in the proper way, you would have been happy with children, married to the same man. Right. Uh, 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 years ago, but now you 60 out playing the field lonely, you know, mm. but this is what your decision making has done. Now you single moms, that's you their decision making, mom. you know, but go ahead. Isaiah 32 and two, I'll finish on this and let, let you finish on that. Yes, it sir. says, and a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place, mm -hmm. as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So y'all gonna be thirsty. Yeah. All right. Y'all gonna be thirsty when that time comes, you know? And once again, like brothers hey, through the spirit, be patient. Just be patient, because I mean they're gonna come anyways. You know, we focus and we locked in on the mission. Yeah. All right, we ain't gotta sit there and bow down and you know, wiggle around for this bitch and that bitch and this and then the third, like all that shit it, society's finna collapse soon, man. You know, but as far as bowing down and bending to these women's will and look, we're not worshiping women. All right. The woman is supposed to worship us. And if she doesn't want to get with the program, then oh, well. And when you lay down the uh, the standards. All right. And, and let it be known that this is what it is or kick rocks. A lot of the times women will get in line. All right. Because they're naturally attracted to being under subjection. Led. You know, led. You know, now, of course, women still rebel in certain instances. But if you're not at least putting the guidelines, this is what it is. And oh, well. Then she gonna continue to run over you. We ain't here to be ran over by no woman. We're prophets and servants of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's who we serve, man. We ain't here to serve no, no fucking Babylonian hoe, you know. Nah, we not here for that. We here to serve the Lord, man. But yep. anyways, back in that second Ezra uh, sixteen, in verse uh, uh, thirty three, now it says, "The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn, having no husbands." Yeah, the young women, all right, older women, okay. From 16, 17, 25, 35, all right, 45, the higher we get up, there are going to be instant casualties, man, okay? The older, a 60-year-old 60, 60 Vivica A. Fox, ain't nobody finna come rescue her ass just because she was fine in the 90s. That was 20 goddamn 30 yeah. years ago. That Ain't nobody finna come save you. You should have been secured your man. All right, ain't nobody looking to come and uh, make sure I save Vivica. You're done. You're done. All that money, your your career, 
We now and look, then the bitch had the nerve to say to give these different standards. Yo ass is sixty years old and you threw. And you talking about I forgot what she said, man. I uh, as long as he allows me to do this and that and the third, like who what? <laughs> Nobody filled any applications in for her ass. Uh, look, nah, bruh. Size niggas she don't want. No way. No yeah. way, Jose, bruh. Yeah, we ain't yeah. bound down to these hoes, man. Yeah, these women, they they get the when they work for Esau, they don't just do whatever the hell they want. You know what I'm saying? They got a policy that they have to go by, and they follow that shit, Dress you know what cold. I'm saying, to the T. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how much more for the men of the Lord, man? You're going to follow his standard, and, that, and that's it. That's yeah. all, man. <laughs> How much more a man that actually, you know, cares about you, all right? A man that you laid down with, all right? He went in, he went inside of you, all right? Uh, you had his children. Why Why you re give him less respect than the yeah. boss at your job who don't give a fuck if you sick, who don't give a fuck what you got going on in your personal life. He expect you to be there on work and you show your ass up for work in a goddamn snowstorm. Yeah. All right, but when this man... All right, who's protecting you, right? Who's in the house protecting you, okay? And, and providing and doing all, 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 there's all type of intangibles that men do for women that's, that goes unaccounted for. All right, but you're disrespecting him because he asked you not to wear that. Or he asked you to, you know, do some laundry. But with the, anything the boss tell you to do, you fucking go and do that shit and say, yes, sir. All right, he tell you when to go eat. All right. He tell you what to wear. He tell you when to be here. Right. Okay. And you follow all his rules. It's the same thing with, with the man that you're getting with. But you got all these. You don't go to an interview saying, well, yeah, I got all these stipulations. Guess what? You're not going to get the job, nigga. All right. We start at eight o'clock. You're going to either be here at eight or you're not. Yep. They say what if you don't, if you're not following their requirements, they say well look, uh, it's, it was nice will. meeting you. Yeah. You have a nice day. The yeah. same thing. You meet a bitch, man. And she want to act crazy. <laughs> hey, just take it as a compliment. You have a, enjoy the rest of your night. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your day. They'll compliment you on the way out. Like you know what, you had a great personality. Yeah. And, hey, even through this, bro, I'd be doing that shit. I'd be like, look, you know what, you're attractive. I'm sure you'll find other guys out there that'll tolerate and accept that. And this and that and the third. That's just yeah. not me. Yeah. Go have a good day. You know, and just keep it moving, bro. Because it's the same uh, thing. And, and even with that, they'll be, uh, mm. they'll be under subjection. Oh, yeah, that should kill their ass. But they'll be under subjection to the boss at the job because what? There's fear of consequences. Right. Or there's a, a, a sense of I need this job. I need that paycheck. I need that paycheck. Right? Yeah. What? Because what? Stability. That, yeah, because right. stability. So like you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and everybody wants stability, man. Shit. And through your man, hey, you, how you going to receive salvation, man, when the Lord is dealing with, with the man? You know what I'm saying? Yep. He set up an order. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm going to back you up real quick since you mentioned stability. Isaiah. Okay. Yep. Perfect. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the Lord is dealing with the men, and he's given all right, his servants, all right, the wisdom, wisdom and, and knowledge, knowledge to be stable. It says he has not imparted unto her, the woman, wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, so she needs to get with a man that has that wisdom right. and knowledge so that she can be stable. That's yeah. the only way you're going to be stable in these last days. Right. It don't matter how much a nigga is making right now. He could be making 20K a month, 100K a month. It, that's not going to matter. All right. When, when, the, when the dollar has no value. Mm. It don't matter how much M's you got in your bank account when when the dollar has no purchasing value. When you can't access any of that money unless you get the karagma. And if you get the karagma, the Lord's going to rain fire and brimstone upon you. The karagma being the RFID CHIP, which we're going to see that implemented very, very shortly as the society continues to circle the goddamn drain. Okay? Women's going to be the fucking... We're not even going to be thinking about these hoes when all hells bre break out loose, man. Yeah. All right? Yeah, I know when I first came in, I was charged off Isaiah 4 and 1. Now it's like, man, I'm just trying to get to the kingdom and we'll, we'll figure everything out then. But knowing prophecy, there will be women that the Lord has cleave on to us. And they're going to be in the fear and they're going to be humble. Yep. Well, we just read the prophecy. Exactly. It said that they, they shall look for a man, all right, who's a covert from the tempest, who's a river of water in a dry place in the in desert, all right, a rock in a weary land.
Was. Those men are men that's covered by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's been serving him. Who may not have the most, who may not make the most money on this side, who may not drive the best car, live in the best neighborhood on this side, man. But those are the same men that's gonna be sheltered when the society collapses and society standards is gonna collapse with it. Mm -hmm. All these standards uh, that's that's made in this society of what a high value man, all that shit's gonna collapse when there's blood in the streets, man. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna see everybody for their true value, okay? Mm -hmm. This yeah, is a, uh, a key word you made, yeah, mentioned it was humble, man. Hey, cuz hey, uh, a man of the Lord don't want a prideful ass bitch, you know what I'm saying, that's talking back and and being disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Them type of women make you just want to grab them and shake them. But, well, uh, I, mean, yeah, I mean... Well, I was going to mention, like, because even then you got certain men that are humble and will tolerate certain things, but that don't mean the Lord is going to tolerate it, man. And the prime yeah. example I'm thinking about is the woman in Judges, all right? The woman in Judges, she played the harlot on the Levi priest because the Levi priest cared about her, whether he cared about her too much or he was simping, whatever the case it may be, right? He went back to go get the bitch, all right? And then he brought her back with her. And the Lord still brought judgment upon her, man. She got raped to death by a bunch of sodomites, man. All right? Raped and to then, death to the morning. Yeah, then chopped up after that. Sent to 12 tribes of Israel. And that was judgment. So even though he cared about the shorty and went back to go get her, yet the Lord still passed judgment upon her because she went too far. All right? And played the harlot on the Levi priest. Now, the Lord will have mercy upon whom he had mercy on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But in that case, the Lord was like, nah, fuck that. She didn't cross the line. Even though yeah. you care about her, I'm sorry. I got an offer. I'll get you another one, man. Yeah. Well, look what he did to Miriam. Miriam and Aaron was talking smack to uh, Moses. Moses. And yeah. Miriam was the only one made leprous. That showed you she was more in the wrong. And all right. He, opening her mouth wide against her brother, man. Well, even in that case, what was the matter about? A woman that he was dealing with. Mm -hmm. You know? So you got women that think that they got to say so and... Like, look, you don't have no say so, and uh, a, a man who he's dealing with. Where I put my where he put that ain't at. your bit. That ain't that ain't your business. Like it wasn't like King David where he got his wives and one night, nah, you can't have her and this and then the third. Like, bitch, who are you? Well, that's uh, out of pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Bathsheba you know? came and bowed and before the bed time. while King David was in the bed with, with uh, the night. And you while she was is, attending to him. Go you ahead. Woman's gonna be brought brought back to that humble that humble spirit when all hell break loose because when shit is hitting the fan, you gonna you gonna get over your emotions. See, right yeah. now you feel like you ain't gotta suffer and deal with this or a man having multiple women. Your ass is gonna get the fuck up over them emotions when there's fear in the streets. When you got two options, well, I'm gonna deal with him having multiple women, or I'm gonna deal with multiple men. <laughs> Marshall, right. I'm gonna deal with judgment, graping you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's going to come down to, man. Either you deal with one man who's pre who, where you get protection from, all right? Who has a who has a, a multiple women, all right? Or you're going to deal with a bunch of men, okay, having their way with you. And you the brother, and that, that's how the Lord will judge someone like that. You I mean, play the harlot, man. The women that's been playing the harlot on brothers, man. Hey, sh they going they going to get it. Just let just wait. Just wait. Believe me. That kid keeps eating candy. His teeth is gonna fucking fall out. Right. He, <laughs> if if he keeps happen. drinking fucking soda and eating candy, he's gonna have cavities. He's gonna be diabetic. He's gonna be fat as hell. All right. He's gonna have health problems. It's it's going to happen. It's bound. It's just a matter of time. So it's the same with these women who's abusing themselves with over much liberty in this wicked ass society. Eventually, it's going to. Eventually, the teeth is gonna fucking fall out. Eventually, eventually the diabetes is going to come. Eventually, they're going to have bad eyesight playing a goddamn game all day. If you keeping up with the fucking analogy, man. But anyways, did Listen, you? That second yep. Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 16 and uh, 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. And the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. In the wars, there's wars coming. All right. There's wars coming. You bitches get scared about that shit, all right? When you hear about war, all these bitches posting, uh, look at Rafa or whatever. It was shit going on in the Middle Bro. East and shit. If they, if you're out there, we'll see if you need a nigga in, that, in them day. If you was in the Middle East, I bet you would be cleaving to any man nearest to you, grabbing him up, Bro. all right? Just man. like when they show you in the book of Eli, she trying to run around with Eli, man. Trying to grab, she didn't even know Eli. She's just trying to cleave onto him because she knew that he was different. Right. She, she knew she could sense the spirit was with him. She didn't ask, uh, how much do you make a year? Right. Are you 6'3"? <laughs> no. 
she not nah, that shit didn't even matter. It wasn't even a question in her head. She wasn't looking like, damn, is he cute or not? Like, nah, she wanted protection. Yeah. You know, he didn't care about all that shit, man. You know, but it's the spirit, though, because I was talking to um, a shorty a couple days ago, and it was a shooting at the graduation that happened um, at uh, one of these high schools out here. You know, there was a shooting in the middle of the graduation, and she was saying how, like, that shit shook her up even to this day. This happened on, like, a, a Friday or Saturday, and she was still shook up, you know, saying she called it in to work and shit like that. So the shots went off, and she was like, I've never been so scared in my life. Like, I see it on TV, and just being there was different. And she was there with her father. And then she was like, her father, she looked at her father and her father's face, she said, I've never seen it so pale because he was in fear, you know? He was in fear. She said that um, um, she had uh, tripped over a child. Like, she was in such fear. She tripped over a child. Her father said, run. She tripped over him. Her father was holding her by the hand and she was damn near finna get trampled. And her dad just held on to her. And she's just recollecting to me the event and how much fear that she had to where it shook her up. She didn't even want to go out no more. She didn't even want to uh, 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 work anymore. She didn't want to be out in public because of the fear that she had and being so close to a shooting. But even then, like the dude, her father's face was even shook and terrified. But the point being is that that fear kicked in, completely changed her spirit. Completely changed her spirit. Yeah. Man. yeah. You know? And in that time, you're going to want to be protected. See, right now, it's like you're not uh, too much afraid. You can call 911. You got this liberty. But when that fear kicks in, you're going to want to get down. Yeah. <laughs> Plain and simple. Well, she know? she wants to, when that shit happens, when shit hits the fan, she wants to be able to look at a man whose face isn't pale, whose face isn't scared, all right, who's stable, like it's we read stable. in the Isaiah 33. Know what's going on. Yep. Know what to do. Just yep. chill, relax. They're not in fear. And it reminds me of so many dreams my shorty had where she'll be having uh breaking out loose martial law troops and everything like that and she was like the only thing that was keeping me calm is seeing me calm and times when it's been me and this brother in the dream you know and just seeing us calm and how we just coasting through it because what he whose mind is stayed upon the lord he'll keep him in perfect peace and not a one rat when that time comes that hey, the lord continues to have us in the spirit of here it is when shit is hitting the fan in our lives right now jake be stable through it through trusting in the precepts standing on these words man you know I mean, that's all through the spirit and power y'all about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. You go ahead and read that. Uh, you said you had something, right? Uh, no. Nah, like Corinthians? Uh, I uh, read 1 Corinthians 11 and 4. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Yahweh. Yeah. Plain and simple, man. And it's not going to work any other way. It's not going to work. Both of y'all trying to be the head. That's not going to work. There's not no fucking co-partnership. Like, no, not no shit like that. This is employer and employee. That's the relationship. All right? Master and servant. You hate to hear these words. I could give a fuck. I'm not on here trying to get no woman. No Israelite woman. You see, we, you see what yeah, happened in fucking, yeah, over yeah. there. in uh, adultery and yeah. shit. There's another video I seen the elder Manatha Zakba do some uh nigga woman, she's in the Facebook Israelite community for women and shit oh, like yeah. that, man. Some round chunky ass uh Jill's nigga woman. Got fake. Yeah, yeah, Jill's yeah, Scott say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, we thinking about Sophia, man. That's the that's the woman that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about getting the fuck up out of here. All right, these women, these bitches come and go. All right? Yeah. Hey, well, I gotta quote Murph. The brother quoted Murph. You know, the bitch the best thing a bitch did for me was leave. All right, like Murph said, I ain't making no deals. It's not no deals when it comes to my respect. You got to yeah. respect me. I'm leading. There's yeah. no deal. There's no, no negotiating. Negoti There's no negotiating. Yeah. The Bible says I'm the head. I'm, not I'm smarter than you. I'm stronger than you. All right, I'm more competent than you. There's no way I'm going to let you lead. <laughs> I'm the head. The That's final like decision child. comes down to me. Plain and simple, man. I ain't letting a child drive the car, nigga, no. You want me to set the date? You want me to fi figure out what we eating? All right, you want me to lead in every other, you want me to goddamn power drive your ass. <laughs> I don't mean to get vulgar. All right, but you want, but then when it comes to being dominant, when I tell you the certain things, you know, you're supposed, you need to do this. You need to sit down and be quiet. And now it's all, you know, now it's a problem. But you, we lead naturally, we lead in every other aspect, man. Yeah, now we leaving your ass in the dust. Like, you ain't, you ain't with the program, that's just what it is, man. Right. The scripture says a, a silent and loving woman is a gift from yep. the Lord. So if you aren't coming silent and loving, you're a part of the enemy. You're not a gift from the Lord. You're an enemy, man. 
You know, so it's like yeah, we, we moving on. You know what I'm saying? But you, you was we got to... five minutes now. You got it. We okay, got five minutes. On. Whatever you got. Let's, oh, I got one real quick. Then this is Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. And women are uh, are strictly of the world, man. Yeah. And the, and the bro, evil as fuck, bro. Yep. These hoes is evil, and that's why uh, me and my brother we got a uh, saying. The brother Barack, you know, he was like, we'll laugh, we'll like pressure. Because, you know, one time bitches was talking about, oh, he ain't applying enough pressure. pressure and this and that. It's like, hold on now. And we, look, in uh, the atmosphere that we're in, me, like, we, did, we see a lot of shit. But I finna apply pressure to a bitch that she done let this nigga hit on the first night. I done seen you kiss eight, all four, these niggas, times. yeah. But then this nigga, you, he got to take you out on dates and this and that and the third. And you done been slutted out. But now you want me to come and apply some pressure? Wrong. No. Like, look, we beyond playing games with these hoes. We're setting standards. You're going to get with the program or not. Yep. And it's fine because, once again, you don't provide salvation. The Lord provides salvation to us. You'll be covered and hedged by us through the work that Noah was doing. His household was saved. You know, so if you don't want to be under the rule and you don't agree and this and that and the third, that's fine. You don't have to. But then you just got to deal with all this shit on your own. Yeah. And that's fine as well. Go but fight go the world. Go fight the plagues then. It says, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. All right. And these women are uh, prideful as fuck, man. So the Lord's going to lay you down. Verse 12, it says, and I, I will make a man more, more precious, precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So I got to quote the brother Benji, who quoted the brother Ira in the uh, <laughs> Cleveland camp. All right. It's best you love me now before everybody else loves me. I, I don't think I quoted it exactly verbatim, but hey, you better love me now and get on the team now. All right, because when everybody else loves me, it's going to be too late, man. And when I mean everybody else, when all these women, it says that they shall go to and fro, seeking the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Who, how are they going to seek the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? The men that have the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The men that's been warning. Guess what? Noah might not have, have been the richest man on earth, but when it started to rain, everybody wanted to get down with Noah. Okay? Same with Lot. Now, Lot, now Lot's a different story because he had bread. Okay? But Noah is a perfect Noah is a perfect example, okay. Well, he might not have been the richest person. Why? Because he was focused on building that ark, okay. He was focused on serving the Lord Yahweh by Shami Yahweh He wasn't focused on making himself somebody in that old world, being one of those renowned men. And when it started to rain, did nobody give a fuck that this nigga was on TV or this nigga he played basketball or this nigga he uh, is an influencer? Did nobody care about that? All right, everybody was looking for the one that's warning them about the the, the judgment that's coming. They show you that in the movie um, uh, Left Behind. But that's it on that. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Uh, this is Sirach 26 and 14. It says, uh, a oh. silent and loving woman. Yeah. You said Sirach 20. Yeah, I was holding 26 and 7, but you got it, though. Come on, I'll jump up. Uh, Sirach 26 and uh, 7. An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hath hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, a hey, uh, evil wife, man. Shit, don't a uh, 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 man of the Lord don't want a uh, evil bitch around, man. You know what I'm saying? You want a, a woman that's that's submissive, that that play her role, and that's it. That's all, man. Everything will run smooth if you just play your role. Yeah. Stop trying to be prideful. Stop trying to, you know, uh, disrespect your man and all these things that you know that your man don't like, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what he like and what he don't like. And if you don't, that you should be learning those things, you know? Or not. Or not. <laughs> like like the brothers say, or not. Listen, or not. That's yeah. fine with us either way. Like you, It's only your salvation. It's only your salvation. Mm -hmm. So, But I'm going to hit this real quick. Sirach 26 and 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there's nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. So that's right, man. You got to be able to be instructed. You know, if you ain't with the program, you don't want to listen. That's fine with us. So be it. But just know that will be brought into judgment. Like it yeah. says in Ecclesiastes uh, 11, man. Yeah. Hey, if a bitch can't get it, we moving on. We moving on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, so, hey, you got anything else? Close the statements? Uh, that was it. Black woman ain't shit. <laughs> ain't shit. <laughs> hey, having that said, man, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I'll say this too, man. You know, don't go and break up with your nigga woman, all right, just because she, you know, whatever. And Paul said you have trouble in the flesh, man. You're gonna deal, you're gonna deal with certain things, man, but you got your boundaries, and if those boundaries is being crossed, hey, psh, 
uh, Ezra's or it's in the apocalypse ain't nothing to cut her off, man. Give her a bill of divorcement, man. Cut that bitch off. So having that said, man, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, Basham, Rakhal, Kodash. All right, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders that rule well, and uh, peace and love to the elect of Israel. All right, your mm -hmm. brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine, redemption's near to believe. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.